Battery exhausted. Oh, GG. What does that mean? How did you get into working at Triple J? Oh, sorry, at 4 Triple Z. Hey, you better watch your you interviewed psychedelic porn crumpets yeah. a year or two ago. It was really cool. I interviewed a couple more bands like The Vans, but yeah, it was it was cool to do that, especially porn crumpets. That was yeah, because I've been listening one. to them for ages, and it was just surreal. How did you come up with your artist names? What is a rant? In? I got no clue. Actually, I, I want to ask you. <laughs> what is that? Oh, man, I got no clue, honestly. FL Studio. Oh, dude, I love it. Do you actually own it? <laughs> oh, like everyone else, right? They got it cracked. But yeah. then I was like, if I got it cracked, I would have never used it. Okay, so I saved right. the money up and then bought it for like $300. I thought I'd use it straight away. Got on for like an hour and then just left it for <laughs> eight months. <laughs> <laughs> just, a, just a day in the life of a rock star. Welcome back to the Southie Sounds podcast. Today we're here with my guys Caleb and Darius of Casualty Records and Late Night Collective. Of course, you're both musicians, Artie and the Rantans, yes. and of course, Teller. Give us a bit of a history of Casualty Records. Obviously, a uh, record label by use for youths. Mm -hmm. well, who inspired you to, to be this? Well, um,. First off, I, I love telling this story. It's about the um, the name of it, uh, named after the song "Casualty" by the Chats, which is um, the first band that Darius was actually in. Um, it's the first in. song. Oh, we I ever wasn't. Learned. I wasn't in Chats. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's never in the chat. Um, I, I'm, I don't even want to say the name of that band. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's the first song we learnt, so I, I thought it was a pretty cool name. But yeah, um, cool. the the um whole idea behind casualty records is just trying to make a a scene for youth artists because um there's there's nothing there's nothing if you mm. young and want to go to shows except some shitty all ages thing mm. at fortune music hall where you have to be on the mezzanine or something so <laughs> yeah man i mean it's hard for venues to put on all ages shows because they make it. the money for alcohol from alcohol so yeah it's really really awesome to to see you putting on your own shows and your own festivals, which, yeah. which we're going to talk about at the end of the podcast. Um, mm -hmm. But I've got a few questions for you before that. Now, Darius, um, you had me on your show, yeah. Late Night Collective, a uh, month or two ago. Thank you very much for that. That's all right, man. How did you get into working at Triple J? Oh, sorry, at 4 Triple Z. Hey, you better watch yourself. <laughs> I think so. Me and Caleb both did our uh, tr uh, youth announcer training at the same time. Mm. It was back in late 2018, I think it was December. And then um, he immediately got a show, and I waited three years <laughs> and then got in the show. So, Blair, if you know who Blair is, he runs Triple Z pretty mm. much. And yeah, he was like, oh, you're probably one of the longest people to actually get a show rolling but yeah that's how I just applied for one mm. and mm. then yeah got it it was pretty easy wild man so you, so you said that Caleb worked there for three years um around there I so think how it was old, two it was how two. old were you when you started I was 14 which wow, is cool. dude I, I started the label and the show at around the same time they both had yep. the same name mm. um which wasn't good in hindsight but I just wrapped that up <laughs> um at the a couple of months ago, maybe yeah. So you're no longer ago. doing casualties at Four Triple Z. That's it. Yeah. Um, just don't have the time, or yeah, yeah. yeah I'd like to focus more on the label, and yeah, it was starting sure. to run out of the magic, you know, of yeah. having the show. So get, you get into a bit of a routine. Yeah. 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 yeah that's it. I'll, I'll I'll go back to it when I've got some fresh ideas and more mm. time and that, but. Yeah. So you were telling me just before we started recording that you interviewed psychedelic porn crumpets yeah. a year or two ago. Yeah. How was that? Because uh, me, me and my friends, they're one of my favourite bands. So. Oh, oh, they're amazing. Yeah. Um, it was only over the phone, but mm. um, it was still something crazy because I, I had they like emailed me or their um marketing team emailed mm. me or something. True. And it was 
it was really cool i interviewed a couple more bands like the vans mm. which are pretty cool but yeah it was it was cool to do that especially porn crumpets that was yeah because i've been listening one. to them for ages and it was just surreal you for, know? Sure, for sure for uh, sure and who's signed to casualty at the moment um not too many artists at the moment i'm trying to focus more on live shows but we got yep. the Chimpelsons, um Rantans. Te- technically Rantans, although we haven't released any music yet. <laughs> and on my side I've got I could say one artist, but he's pretty independent in the way he does what he does. Mm. This guy called Dan the Dirt. I think he lives up Sunny Coast. Yeah. Um yeah, he's my first and so far only artist that I've signed. Just cause I don't wanna mix I, I wanna get artists that are young and have a lot of talent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm so sure. Just, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of them out there. Just gotta find them. Yeah, that's it. Or go go to Shedfest. And you'll yeah, find hit, them. Me <laughs> hit me up. Hit me up, mate. Hit me up. Teller and Artie in the Rantans. How did you come up with your artist names? What is a Rantan? I got. No I actually, got, I w- want to ask you. <laughs> what is oh, that? Man, I got no clue, honestly. Um, I I wasn't even really in the band to start with. Um, it was Arthur and Maddie and Eli. Arthur was going to play drums and uh, do vocals at the same time, and I was like, Jeez. "Hey, can I can I get in on this action?" And they um they said yes, thankfully. So, Artie, short for Arthur, and Rantans. Fucks me. I got no idea. <laughs> um, it's got a ring to it, though. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um. Tell her, this is a cool story. Yeah. Like this. Uh, it's actually really simple. If you guys... No, like, <laughs> it is, it is. Um, there's, um, there's a show, uh, a magic show called Penn and Teller. Yeah. It's these two dudes who do magic, or oh, watch people uh, do magic and, like, judge it, in a sense. And then back in year seven, I used to bust out them card tricks. Oh, no And, like, way. go up to random people and go, like, do you want to see a card trick? You know, I was, it was the coolest kid at lunch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, it wasn't. But the fact was, I do anyways, and I actually really liked it. Yeah, Matt. Um, and yeah, and then I, I, I just thought, oh, no one's taken the name Teller besides mm. the magician, so I'll use it as my artist name. Yeah, finding something that's good and not taken is hard. Yeah, it's, and it's not taken. Plus, it's like a bit of my history. I used to do magic. Yeah, in that yeah. sense. Who are your favourite artists from Southeast Queensland? Oh, that's a tough question. Um, I live and breathe Brisbane music. I'll, I'll say that some of my favourite artists of this year, 2021, are uh, Special Features, especially mm. they're playing at Shedfest. Um, they released an EP this year, which was... It was so abs- good. Absolutely it was so good. insane. Yeah. Um, just a bunch of young kids, they just finished school. And um, it's just insane, the music that's coming out from them. And, um, yeah, I'm happy to have them on this line. I can't wait to see them live. What kind of music is it? Punk? No, oh. it's more, it's more indie rock. Yeah. Um, cool. but more like nineties kind of yeah. esque. It's really, the, really he's, cool They've stuff. got some, uh, like a bit grungy songs yeah. in the, yeah. in the EP. Some heavier well. stuff. Yeah. 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 So it's a good mix. They're really good. I also like this new band that's just come out called Square. Um, yeah, Square, I've seen them before. They're yeah, awesome, hey? yeah, I saw them at um, the Stew gig, the Stew magazine mm, show that mm. they did a couple of weeks back, and it was just insane. They're, um, they're just about to blow up, I reckon. Yeah, Square. for sure. They're, they're awesome. definitely definitely riding away. If you haven't seen Square yet, check them out. Mm-hmm. I'll vouch for them. Oh, 100%. Yeah. So that's some of my favourite stuff from this year. But... It's a broad question. I'm just trying oh, to yeah. think. Oh, yeah. Super broad. Who else? Um, I don't know. Because my next question was going to be favorite release of 2021 Ooh. from oh. anywhere. From oh. anywhere. Oh. Yeah. The rap scene in Southeast Queensland, it's a bit... It's very small. It Honestly, mm. for use, it's very small. Um, Super fragmented. It's like you got to find it before mm. you know it's there. Like, mm. it's so tiny. But I think what I found, this guy named uh, McQueen... Yeah, he's coming to play at Shedfest as well. Uh, I got interest, introduced to him by a kid from Quacky, mm. and his stuff is very like Lil Uzi Vert. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think the best, the best type. Like, I haven't heard good auto tune music in a very long time till I heard his stuff. So, 
Well, I mean, the market's, the market's so saturated. Yeah, exactly. That kind of stuff at the moment. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah, it's hard to hard to stand out. Um, but how old are you guys? Have you finished high school yet? Or is it next year? Next right? year. Um, yeah. Oh, it was his birthday yeah, yesterday. Was, yes, uh, oh, happy yeah. birthday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah, turned 17. We're both freshly 17 this month, so. Cool. So 12 months from now, you've just graduated high school. Mm-hmm. What's your, where would you like to see your music career, whether it's Artie and the Rantans or it's Casualty becoming sort of a bigger thing? Like what's, mm. what's your goal for the next 12 months? Well, the next 12 months, I want to put on six shows. That's that's my goal. Yeah. Um, I've already got two in the pipeline, um, cool. including Shed Fest. But I just want to try to make as many more all ages shows as I can. Mm-hmm. Um, that's about it. I don't really have too many other plans mm. yet. Darius, where would you like to see your music career 12 months from now? Well, I'm, I'm kind of thinking I'm smaller at the moment because mm. Yeah, I've barely gotten um, late night, like, off the ground, I'd say. Don't even have a website. Um, so are you planning to take late night into being something bigger? Yeah, 100%, 100%. Mm. Like, I'm planning on just making an actual company and uh, cool. starting to sign more artists, interview more artists, get, like, its own little community mm. sort of thing. So is late night actually a record label as well? No, oh, no, no, it's yeah. not. It's it's much more like like in the name, it's more of a collective. So yeah, it's, it's a bit more uh, open ended. Yeah, me and Caleb, we we're working together to, so when I get an artist, he'll be releasing mm. it under Casualty Records. Yeah, but it will still be, like late night, but yeah. it's just under Casualty Records. So, in a sense, <laughs> like. It's not a record company. It's more of just a place to get connections for rap in general. Yeah. That's sick though. I love that um, because, you know, with, with legit labels, there's, there's lock-ins, there's mm, people mm. can fuck you over, there's commitment. Yeah. Um, obviously, you don't get the advantages of like money backing you, but the positive of that is you can leave and come and go as you want, yeah. which... Um, I think I think is a very valuable thing for artists these yeah. days. Yeah, I, I I plan to well to have like some sort of contract, but yeah, I don't I yeah. don't want the artists to have to feel committed to all, only being with me if they're getting a, a better charge somewhere else. Yeah, they can go off. But true, you know, we, we like it stay. We have to sort of work out some better stuff legally because <laughs> even just this year we've been fucked over by two too, separate bands. Too many times. Um, yeah. It's always the lead singer. It's always the lead singer. I know um, one of those bands. Who's the second one? Um, oh, look. You don't want to hang him out? No. <laughs> no, I think it's it's come and gone. I was in that band, so yeah, he I was, chose but it wasn't talk him. about it. He, he, he got dragged into it. But yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just the same thing and, ev- like... Everyone misses out. We lost so much money from both mm. of those bands. Mind you, we sort of got it back. Though, yeah. Um, but it was still a big mess around. Yeah. So we need to sort of figure out stuff yeah. legally. Like every, t- every time we take a step forward, it's like we're going two steps back because <laughs> we get somewhere, it's going to go big, and then... And then we yeah, we want to be as lax as we can, but we have to. We're gonna have so you to gotta set boundaries. We're gonna, yeah. we're gonna have yeah. to have like a background check every time we want to <laughs> put in put a new artist now, dude. That's just the music industry, like, and that's not excusing anyone's actions, oh. but that's what you have to deal with if you're gonna start a record label. Mm, it's horrible, mm, you know. It's, it sucks. Though. It sucks. Yeah. yeah, and it's like because because we don't get the um like the guardians or like the guidance. Yeah for stepping into like because we're going in like blind pretty much yeah we don't really know we know what we're doing but we don't fully know like the extent of what could happen all around yeah no but but good on you guys for being authentic and and sticking to your morals and and not just not just shrugging it off because the band is good or popular you know really really sticking to what you believe in i respect that that's it that's what we gotta do. Yeah. yeah. And it, in long term, in the end, it will pay off. You yeah. Know? You won't have to deal. If you cut them off early, you won't deal with that bullshit when they're like exactly. too big. Yeah. You know. That's I think that's that's the yeah. thing. We got we got lucky. It's like a blessing and a curse. It was really early for both the times. And yeah. Caleb was pretty good with one of them. We covered really well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We sorted it all out. 
Nice. Just don't want that fucking shit to happen again. Yeah. 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 Are you guys still friends with any of those people? Well, there's people involved in those circumstances that weren't necessarily hadn't done anything wrong. They were yeah. just thrown in as well. Like, so was, like some of the the members didn't even know it was happening, and then the yeah. whole band got disbanded. And he was like, "Oh, what? Yeah." I, I, I had to tell one of the members that the band didn't exist anymore, which was weird. Literally overnight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it was it was like Caleb's not really managing any of that, and he had to tell one of the band yeah, members. That was, it's so that weird. That was pretty funny. What is the most important thing that you own? Wow. Something that means a lot, or something that you, that you just couldn't live without. FL Studio. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Fruity Loops. Fruity Loops. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, dude, I love it. I bought it back in 2018. I was going to say, do you actually own it? <laughs> oh, like everyone else, right? They got it cracked. But yeah. I was like, if I got it cracked, I would have never used it because I got it for free. Yeah. Okay, so I saved right. the money up and then bought it for like $300. Yeah, you hear that, kids? You yeah. earn shit and you actually appreciate it. Get the it. money. Get the money up. Yeah. I thought I'd use it straight away. Got on for like an hour and then just left it for <laughs> eight months. But then, yeah, thankfully I got back on and... Yeah. I think it'd be my drum kit yeah. um, that I've just freshly redone, like full on revamped it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a beautiful, I think it's 68 Pearl Super Deluxe. So it's very old. Mm. And I've got some new symbols for it as well. And everything is pretty much just brand new. Yeah, it so, looks super shiny at the substation gig. I don't use it there. No? That's the other one, because oh, this okay. one's too precious. I don't want <laughs> Arthur. Just, it's not backline. Bye, bye. No, and then, no way. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, I, I like that. I don't yeah. think I could live without that. That's Sick. my favorite thing, yeah. So, uh, Darius, you produce all your own beats? Uh, yeah, yeah, I produce everything that I make. Pretty much. That's uh, sick, man. Love to see it. Yeah, it's it's good to be the producer and the artist, I'd say, because you get exactly what you want to hear. Yeah. Like you know exactly how the, it's going to turn out at the end. And you're only young, so five, ten years down the track, like your shit's going to be so much better because you're doing it all from hopefully. scratch. <laughs> no, I'm very, will. I'm very like at a standstill now. I've gone to a certain point in my producing career, I guess mm-hmm. you can say. You sort of reached a plateau. Yeah. Yeah. So progress is only like every six months I pop up on TikTok. Oh, you can do this to master better or something. And then yeah. got yeah. that mentally locked in. But then it's, yeah, it's, it's just ongoing. Just how can I improve it? Mm. But it just, ne- you just never improve. <laughs> Need to go and get uh, some inspiration then. If you mm. get a bit yeah, of Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of TikTok, I've got a pretty big question for you guys. As of December 2021, TikTok has become the most trafficked website in the world. As young people, what is your opinion on this transition to short form content? And do you think there's any net positives or is it all just a net negative, like generally in a societal sense? Hmm. Well, what's your opinion on TikTok? Because I've only jumped on it in the last few months. Yeah. I, I personally don't even want to be on it, but doing yeah. what I do, don't really have a choice if I want to grow mm. the brand, right? That's it. So, yeah. so what do you think? Um, I think it's funny, like, watching funny videos on TikTok. <laughs> that's, that's cool. But um, <laughs> in terms of uh, business, like, it's horrible because it just... What what's the maximum? Oh, they've lifted it's it. It's three now. minutes on TikTok, but like realistically, people are not going to watch more than thirty seconds. That's on it, nice. and that just shortens people's attention spans yeah. even more. People see something. I remember seeing something. If it doesn't get their attention in the first three two, seconds, two yeah. or three seconds, bang, it's gone. So yeah. like, you've got to, it's it's so you've got to be really trendy on it. It's mm. not something easy, like like I was saying, two to three seconds. If there's not something that's already trending on TikTok that happens in the first two to three seconds, they have no reason to stick around. As a content creator, I'm really torn because I just put out a vlog that's 30 minutes long and obviously I'm not going to put the whole thing on TikTok, but mm. I need to put it on YouTube and then chop it up and just like get the best bits within the first two or three seconds. So yeah. getting... Yeah 
Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of seeing it as like get people in the door on TikTok and then get them to look further. But it's such a hard thing to do. Oh, um, yeah. People are lazy. That's, yeah. That's what I've just decided. People are real lazy. So you've got to make everything really easy. Mm. And in yeah. situations like that, or even if you're trying to promote your music, mm. it has to be really trendy pop stuff mm. for people to go, oh, I like this song. I don't even think people are lazy. I just think they have no attention span. They mm. just get bored mm. yeah. like super fast. Yeah. I reckon. You've got to grab it somehow. I think the best time for short video, that sort of like ideology, I guess, mm. was when Vine came out. Yeah. Because TikTok, Musical.ly, all those little short video platforms or whatever, they always work for a, a short amount of time, yeah. like like their video is short, and then they just die. Mm. That's it. It's it's it always seems to be the case. I think TikTok is different, man. Mm. I think I think it's here to stay. To be honest, I don't think it's gonna like it's already taken off. But yeah. like I see a bunch of artists trying to promote their stuff on TikTok. It does work, but it also gives you that label of, oh, I'm a TikTok artist. Yeah. It's the same <laughs> so thing cringe. as like, the same thing as like dropping your music on YouTube. Yeah. Or, you know, like SoundCloud. You, you immediately get that title, mm. I, I feel. So, I don't know, there's a, there's, it's a blessing and a curse. Yeah, you will get, mm. you will get more viewers or listeners, but. I just have my yeah. shit on all platforms. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Patience is out now, by the way. Check it out. <laughs> Who's got bars? Yeah. Beautiful. 12th of February in Albion. Casualty Records, Late Night Collective, and Then Space yes. present Shedfest. Two stages type B, all ages type B, $25. Get your tickets now, guys. Yeah. What's the go with the space? It, it's yeah. beautiful. It's, it's an old um, taxi repair shop. Sure. So we've got massive big warehouse and all up the top they've got like resident uh visual artists in there oh um, so it's actually like a legit art space now yeah full yeah. converted yeah, yeah yeah it's um awesome it's it's super cool and the downstairs part is just you can book it out and do whatever you like there really mm. um i think the coolest part about it is they've got a little uh, car spray bay sort of thing from when they used to paint all the taxis in there. Oh, true. And that's where one of our stages are in there. Um, yeah, so multi-stage mm. event. Yeah. So we've got about, how many, like 14? Yeah, 14. 14 artists. But there's, he's got the lineup up there. Yeah, 14 artists, but, <laughs> but it's, um, it's, yeah. tw- it's like 30 artists in total. 14 yeah. acts, 30 artists. Dude, like, that's huge. Like, yeah. When I was 16, I was not fucking doing anything with my life, bro. Yeah, so yeah. It's it's sick that you guys got such a head start and, and you're doing great things for your people and your age bracket. Oh, yeah. If you're not going to do it, no one else is going to do it. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. I, I like to keep busy. Yeah. And stuff, just trying to keep making bigger and better stuff. Mm, and stuff sure. like this is what's going to mm. work make that better it's I, I like looking at it like there's heaps of people there yeah and so who's who are you most excited for on this lineup special features yeah I, sure. i'm pretty i'm pretty with him as well yeah. like i haven't seen them play live yet so cool. but casto one as well is very exciting he's mm-hmm. he's been a pretty massive uh soundcloud rapper for a very long time now yeah. he's always had like a very big following so cool, cool. I can't it, this is his first gig as well really yeah so it'll be and pretty cool to see him live the fact that it's still as of filming this six weeks away and it's almost yeah. sold out yeah. you're doing something right we've yeah it's been it's just what let's check it out now yeah exactly three days and 26 minutes since tickets went on sale Far out. and we've sold Fuck ton. Hopefully, if you're watching this, it's not too late to go grab tickets. Oh, it'll be too late. It'll be too late. <laughs> Next year. But, um, Next time. Yeah, if yeah. you come down right on opening time, we'll have a couple of door tickets. Oh, so. so there you go. Yeah, if you, if you want to come in early, get your tickets. If not, they're going to be gone as well. Yeah, we'll only have 20 or so. Yeah. But, um, yeah. But it's it's really exciting lineup. Um, Artie and the Rantan's my band. Uh, it's probably our second show. East Dozzy and Nozzle. I think that's their first gig. Yeah, well. it'll be um, it'll be Oscar's first gig, and apparently Nozzle 
is um some cool dude from Nudgy. I never oh, he's so cool. I oh, never, I never met cool. him before, but we've got one of our mates, J Tab. Yeah. Um, close friend of me and Caleb's, and he's doing uh, like a bit of DJ. Cool. As well cool. as our good friends, Where Two and El Delphio. Yeah, nice. yeah, that'll be cool. Yeah. And ever so, I'm excited for them. Um, cool little indie band. Mm. Uh, Power Freak. That's another band that I'm in. Um, oh, true. I've just joined. Drummer? Yeah. yeah. Um, it's got myself, Harvey Costello, one of our good friends, uh, Sean Rosney, and Oscar Richardson. And it's really cool. All types of rock. It'll be cool. All types of rock. And then Ollie Hawkins, aka River. That'll be awesome. I've known him for a while. Yeah, yeah. Sunday Service. It's a MIC band, which will be awesome. Uh, Teller. And Chimpies, bro. Oh, yeah, Chimpies. Well. Yeah, yeah, Chimpies. Yeah, yeah. They, they're um, playing all the Casualty Records shows. At the yeah. They're cool. Video Couch, very excited for that. Um, that's going to be a really cool thing to see. And mm. Where To and El Delpha. Nice. It's so exciting. I'm very excited. From Spare Time Collective. Yeah, well. Spare Time. El Delpha Sick. runs Spare Time Collective, which oh, is. Oh, true. Um, sort of I don't know, I'm speaking on behalf of Darius is like very inspiring for late night I think oh yeah yeah no I love that place they go in and they've just got vinyls everywhere no that's and that's catalogue oh fuck spare, spare time, time spare bro. time is spare time and catalogue they're like best friends they work yeah. together yeah all the time but yeah I just found out about spare, spare, spare time it's all just like lo-fi hip hop mm-hmm. shit right mm-hmm. yeah it's pretty awesome that uh, where to was our teacher. I'm not gonna mention what his actual name is. Yeah, but. <laughs> where to? He taught us at um our old school for we at uh, this music school. So yeah. it's cool to have him on this lineup. Mm. Really, really cool milestone. Yes, yeah, yes. So, I'm pretty. I'm pretty keen to to play with Bracco as well because we're doing a little set. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Mm. Yeah, it's um lots of people's first shows. Mm. Which be cool. Okay, so. There's lots of support behind them as well. Yeah, the hopefully, teams. hopefully it all goes smoothly. Yeah, even <laughs> if it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. That's the story. yeah. The big questions: What is the meaning of life according to Caleb and Darius? <sighs> all right, you go, mate. Oh, that's God. all you, oh. cuz. Um, mate, you've already ex- you've experienced the full end of life, mate. I got no idea. I don't know, you got a good philosophy. When you die, you don't actually go anywhere. I'm not religious at no, all. No, not that. No, <laughs> Wait, but I'm not done yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. You so, in saying it. that, I'm saying, like, oh, I don't know. You've only got one shot. It's so cliche, but it's mm. true. Just do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, I'll get lung cancer in 40 years, but... You know, I, I don't regret it. I don't regret it. Like, yeah, if I got lung cancer in 40 years, I'll still be smoking fucking JPS Super King Menthol. <laughs> I don't know. Like, yeah, I don't know. There's no point in in waiting for something that won't happen, I'd say. Mm, mm. In life, no one's waiting for you. you got to just do it. Yeah, make the most of it and make it yourself. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's uh, touche. Yeah, the tip bro, that. Nike. Just do it. <laughs> it's true. Just, it. just try them off. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we've got a minute left. Um, is there anything that you want to promo or anyone you want to give a quick shout out to? Because now's the time. Um, shout out to all the artists playing at Shed yes. Fest. They're doing us a big favour mm. um, and it'll be super cool. Mm. Um, shout out to Julian at Vent Space for letting us put it on. He's mm-hmm. a G. Uh, yeah, check out Vent Wave as well, a little thing that he's doing. And shout out to Caleb. Shout out to Darius. <laughs> um, yeah, Darius is bringing in all the hip hop acts. Um, yeah. I'm bringing in all the bands, so it's a good mix of. And shout out to all the people that are actually attending Shedfest. Yeah. They've. This is new. Like all this has just came up mm-hmm. in like the last couple of weeks, and to sell out that quick. Well, Impressive. It's yeah. really good. Yeah. And so, we actually mean it. Like if you bought yeah. a ticket. We actually thank you. We're not just saying it. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. So is this going to be an annual thing? Or we? We'll have this to is, see. This is the test run, I would yeah. say. But yeah. 
it's it's already looking good. We definitely we we it's in the it's in the books. We might be doing it next year. Yeah. The year after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Caleb of Casualty and Darius Teller and Late Night Collective guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. No. Buy tickets to Shed Fest and we'll fucking see you there. Yeah. <laughs> Sideways like you eat tacos See you in motion, but check me for stock Only dude, I'm a Robico tobacco Bad bitch, I'm not petty Liquors and match my presence is deadly Confetti whenever my pocket is ready Cause boy, I'm the one that I see on the telly We want them dollars, we want more commas Fuck with the mamas, spit it like llamas Do it like fire, they snow cow, I ain't no Mariah Yo, bitch, I'm not petty Liquors and match my presence is deadly Confetti whenever my pocket is ready Cause boy, I'm the one y'all gonna see on the telly Telly, 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 telly.